Mercury retrograde started the 16th of February, which was yesterday. And so I, but we've had so much interest expressed in Mercury retrograde, I thought I'd do a little workshop on it, just a little information on it for this time. And I, I'm reading it because I, I did, I really want to say this right uh, properly. There's about, this is about Mercury retrograde. It went retrograde, as I said, on February 16th in Pisces. Mercury is a planet that rules our thoughts and communications and love. love and, and love, especially in Pisces. Love will never be logical because there's no formula to it. There's no one size fits all. Love is what it is and sometimes, no matter how hectic, no matter what, if we keep going back to someone's another subject, um, it, we just have to accept it as it is. Uh, it brings out, Mercury in Pisces brings out old loves. Old feelings from the past, situations from the past. In Pisces, sometimes we need to re redirect our feelings, redirect, forgive, redirect, revisit. If there's a hurt to change because you've been hurt by things in the past, this is going to keep bringing it back over and over whenever it's in Pisces, especially. But it will bring, every time Mercury is retrograde, it will bring back your feelings. It will bring back your, your hurt. So if you revisit it, even though it may be painful, you can go way back to your childhood. Revisit it, see how it made you feel then, and who be the person you are now. Um, don't let it, don't let it ruin your life. Mercury in, in, Mercury in Pisces, seeing sees as positive and, and a beautiful experience. And so it, this is a, this is a one time for almost twelve months that'll help you. It'll help you get through things, help you feel better. Um, this is an evolution for all of us, for every single one of us, because we all have things that come back to us, the things that remind us of, of things. And if we want a quick and easy fix, this isn't for you. No, this isn't for you this time. Mercury retrograde isn't for you this time. If you are after a more authentic life, based on forgiveness, honesty, and love, you'll get a lot out of this. This will be a big month for you, a very big month. But Pis Pisces has a purpose to her love. And that is to heal and go deep within the unconscious so we can make sense of what we experience at any time in our life. Nothing is random and none of us deserve the hurt and pain we experience when it comes to love. And we all have been hurt. And, and when people say, I don't want to be hurt, I don't want to get involved again. Well, you know the old saying, it's better to have loved and lost than not loved at all. And that's really true. It's much better to feel love. Now, if you've been with someone that you don't feel reciprocated, who has not been kind to you, and I'm going to do another uh, video on this tomorrow or Wednesday, um, we'll go through that. But then look at who the person you've become. You don't deserve that. You really don't deserve that. You deserve to be loved. And think back about any decisions you made or even feelings since October 11th last year. It's likely we're going to have to revisit those again. Mercury 5th retrogrades. Mercury retrogrades goes in Aquarius, and that's a change then. About having the strength, speaking up and changing our mind, reversing some of our decisions we made, and not caring about what anybody says and knowing we all make decisions. We all make decisions that are wrong. We all make mistakes. Um, a lot of change can come when we expect it, when we least expect it, actually. Maybe coming to peace with our past is something that sneaks up on us, and this again is Mercury retrograde. But once it does, it can finally unlock a whole new future. Mercury is direct on, on March 9th. And I hope this is helpful, all of you. If you have any questions, please call me at 800-541-6999. Use the code MERCURY, and I will give you um, a 15-minute reading with uh, $10 off for $49, just for this one thing. And so it has to be Mercury. And it'll just be for uh, this month at one time. Okay. Have a wonderful, wonderful three weeks. That's what this is for Mercury until March 9th. And it's a good one. This is one of the best ones. Everybody always seems to create a Mercury retrograde. It's not, in Pisces, it's not negative at all. It's not negative in any way, shape, or form. It's love, feelings, and good things, and beautiful things. Have a wonderful month. Bye-bye.